नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास अगेन नाउ लेट अस सी दिस फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज शो दैट इफ द डायगोनल ऑफ कॉर्डिलेटर आर इक्वल एंड बाइसेक्ट ईच अदर एट राइट एंगल देन इट इज अ स्क्वायर सो वन कॉर्डिलेटर इज गिवन एंड diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles we have to prove that it is a square so we have to prove that it is a square that means finally our answer will be a square therefore let me draw a square okay as it is a square better we draw a square for that um, Okay, let us take white. Fine. Better we take white color only. So we will draw a square. All right, A B C D. Now, in general, they have given this is a quadrilateral, not a square. Why I am drawing? Because finally, I have to prove this is a square. So. based on the given information its shape will be something like that of the square so here abcd is quadrilateral so here i will write given abcd is a quadrilateral in which diagonals are equal so diagonals are equal that is this ac is equals to bd in which ac is equals to bd they bisect each other so if i take this as point m then first they have given ac is equals to bd second they have given am is equals to cm and third they have given they bisect each other at 90 degree that is ac is perpendicular to bd that is your angle amb angle amb is equals to angle bmc is equals to angle dm amd i will say that amd is equals to angle cmd is equals to 90 degree so here each angle at the center is 90 degree now to prove we have to prove that this quadrilateral abcd is a square we have to prove that this abcd abcd is a square now for that let me bring this square here somewhere Okay, I have to prove that this ABCD is a square. So here, in proof, I will write proof. I will take now to prove that this is a square. I have to prove that each angle is ninety degree and all sides are equal. Therefore, it will become a square. So first, to prove that each angle is ninety degree, I will take. Um, okay what what we will do okay first let us take triangle amb and cmb so in triangle amb and triangle cmb 
you can take C, M, B, or B, M, C. Okay, in these two triangles, we have A, M is equals to C, M. This is given. Second, we have B, M is equals to B, M. This is a common side. And third, we have angle AMB is equal to angle CMB each 90 degree. This is also given. Okay. So, therefore, our triangle AMB will be congruent to triangle CMB. Reason is these two triangles are congruent. Criteria is side angle side. So side angle side by side angle side criteria these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, AB is equals to AB is equals to BC. They are corresponding part of congruent triangle. Now as I taken these two triangles and prove that AB is equals to BC. Similarly, We can prove we can prove that AB or BC we can prove that BC is equals to CD and CD is equals to DA. So therefore we have AB is equals to BC is equals to CD is equals to DA. I will consider this as equation 1 and one part I have already proved so let us highlight it okay next I have to prove that each angle is 90 degree for that let us take triangle DAB so now in triangle DAB and triangle CBA. We can prove that these two triangles are also congruent and the criteria you use is side side side. So in these two triangles DA is equal to DA is equals to CB. Here you can see that this DA is equals to this BC. So we can see that from 1 then AB is equals to BA this is common side and BD is equals to AC diagonals are equal this is given therefore this triangle DAB is congruent to triangle CBA. The criteria is side side side. So by side 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 criteria these two triangles are congruent side side side. Therefore corresponding parts are equal that is angle DAB is equal to DAB is equals to CBA angle CBA this is corresponding part of congruent triangle okay so here when I proved that all sides are equal I can say that therefore quadrilateral A B C D is a rhombus okay so this quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus because all sides are equal and we have to prove that each angle is 90 degree ABCD is a rhombus so interior angles are supplementary so therefore this is D AB and CBA equal but also angle I will say also angle D AB 
plus angle C B A is equals to 180 degree. The interior angles. Interior angles in rhombus. Now when I say it is a rhombus, that means opposite sides are parallel and interior angles will become supplementary. So therefore, these two angles are equal, their addition is 180 degree. So I can say that this angle DAB is equal to angle CBA is equal to 90 degree. So each angle we got 90 degree. And as each angle is 90 degree, I will say that therefore this quadrilateral ABCD is a square. This quadrilateral ABCD is a square. Done. Okay. Show that diagonal of show that diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angle. I think yesterday we have done this problem. Okay, fine. And we have done this problem also. Diagonal AC of a parallelogram ABCD bisect angle A so that it bisect angle C and we have to prove that ABCD is the numbers. Okay, this also we have done. So I think we left this problem yesterday. So we have done today. Seventh problem, ABCD is a rhombus so that diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. ABCD is a rhombus. So already you know ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rumor so that diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. Fine. So this A, B, C, D is a rumor. We have to show that this diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C. So let us first concentrate on this diagonal AC. We have to prove that B A C and D A C are equal. So here given, I will write given. So what is given? We have given that A B C D is a rhombus. A B C D is rhombus. What I have to prove? We have to prove that to prove first part we have to prove that AC bisect angle A and angle C that is okay that is we can say that we can say that angle DAB that is angle DAB is equal to angle BAC and angle DCA is equal to angle BCA. This is first part we have to prove and second part we have to prove that angle here if I draw the second diagonal, we have to prove that angle ABD or I will say that BD bisect angle B and angle D. Okay, so these two parts we have to do. Let us copy this 
diagram here somewhere here okay now i will take in proof i will take triangle abc in triangle abc ab equal to bc okay you can see that side ab and bc are equal therefore angle opposite to side ab is angle c therefore angle bca angle bca is equals to angle bca is equals to angle bac sides are equal then their opposite sides opposite angles will also be equal this is your isosceles triangle theorem isosceles triangle theorem so this angle and this angle equal so let us consider that they are x so is equals to x i will say fine this is equation 1 also we have angle b ac is equal to angle b b ac is equals to angle b c a no uh, sorry it is equals to angle d c a reason alternate angle theorem now this b a c is x so d c a is also equal to x this you will take to and here reason is alternate angle theorem alternate angle theorem because if two sides are parallel then alternate angle formed by transversals are equal so this angle dca is also equal to x bac is x angle dca is also equal to x so these two angles become x x similarly this angle ba bca angle bca is equals to angle dac now bca is x so dac is also equal to x the reason here also is alternate angle theorem alternate angle theorem so if we compare equation 1 to and 3 from 1 to and 3 what i can say so i will say that therefore from 1 mm this angle also i got x so from 1 2 and 3 i will say that ac bisect angle a as well as angle c so this ac bisect angle a as well as angle c this we have done proof okay now it one abcd is a rectangle in which diagonal ac bisect angle a as well as angle c we have to show that abcd is a square and diagonal bd bisect angle b as well as angle d abcd is a rectangle okay a b c d abcd is a rectangle in which diagonal ac bisect angle a so it is bisecting angle a as well as angle c that means these two angles if this angle is x this is also x if this angle is y this is also y 
we have to show that ABCD is a square and diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. Okay, in the previous problem, we have to prove that BD bisect angle B and D. So here you can say similarly, B can prove that BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. No need to prove because in the same manner I am going to prove this part also. Now here in this case ABCD is a rectangle and diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C. So here in given we can write first what is given that ABCD is rectangle. ABCD is rectangle. Second part what is given? We have given that AC bisect angle A and angle C. So that is you can say that angle BAC is equals to angle DAC is equals to let us say X okay and angle BCA angle BCA is equals to angle DCA is equals to Y. This I will take X, this I will take uh, these two angles as Y. This is given and in to prove to prove what I have to prove that ABCD is a square. First I have to prove that this quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a square and second I have to prove that diagonal BD bisect angle B and angle D. So let us see the proof. Now, here ABCD is a rectangle, so therefore I can say that angle BAC, angle BAC is equal to angle DCA. DCA. What is the reason? angle BAC is equal to angle DCA. The reason is alternate angle theorem. It is a rectangle so opposite sides are parallel and therefore alternate angles are equal. So this I can say equation 1 and reason I will say that alternate angle theorem. Alternate angle theorem. Right. So therefore we have x is equals to y. Okay. So instead of writing equation 1 here, we will write 1 here. So as x will become y, we have angle BAC. So therefore angle BAC will become equal to angle BCA. Now they are opposite angles and triangle ABC therefore their opposite sides will be equal. So therefore opposite sides that is side BC will be equal to side BA or AB. Okay. Reason is converse of isosceles triangle theorem. Converse of isosceles triangle theorem. So all the theorems what you learn are very very important and you have to remember all of them. Now BA 
is equals to BC is equals to AB. Now this is a rectangle and adjacent sides are equal. So this ABCD will become R square. So I will say that since now ABCD is a rectangle with adjacent sides equal therefore this quadrilateral ABCD is a square so this quadrilateral ABCD will become a square we have proved the first part now I have to prove that if ABCD is a square then BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. So now this ABCD is A square. We have to prove that this diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. So I am not going to prove it because in the previous problem we have already proved that in case of rhombus diagonal bisect each other. So the same way you can prove here you first take triangle BAD and triangle BAD as side AB and AD equal so their opposite angles are equal so you can consider these two angles as say angle P angle P then this angle B and this angle here D they are going to be equal because they are alternate angle and similarly this angle ADB and CBD they are going to be equal, they are also alternate angle. So, as these are alternate angles, therefore, we can see that each angle is P equal. Therefore, I will say that this BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. Okay, the so same procedure, same method you have to implement here. I am sure that you will do this part. Now, let us See this ninth question. In a parallelogram ABCD, two point P and Q are taken on the diagonal BD such that DP, DP, you can see here DP is equal to BQ. We have to show that triangle APD, APD is congruent to triangle CQB. CQB. Now, if you see these two triangles. Uh, first ABCD is a parallelogram, therefore this AD and BC equal. Now, as these two these two sides equal, we have proved. Second, BQ and DP it is given equal. If you observe carefully, you will identify that your angle ADP and your angle CBQ they are also going to be equal as they are alternate angles. So by alternate angle theorem, this angle, these two angles are equal. So by side angle side criteria, we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. So uh, let us start. Now given and to prove, I left to you to write. Okay, I will start from proof. Now I will say that in triangle, I will take these two triangles. What are the name? APD in triangle, in triangle APD and triangle. Second triangle is CQB. In triangle APD and CQB, in these two triangles, we have. AD, we have AD is equals to CB, AD is equals to CB, this is given. Second, we have angle ADP, angle ADP is equals to angle CBQ. The reason is alternate angle, alternate angle theorem. I 
and third we have dp is equals to bq this is also given so therefore triangle apd and triangle cqb are congruent so i will not write and i will use the symbol of congruence so these two triangles are congruent by side angle side criteria okay so by side angle side criteria these two triangles are congruent now as these two triangles are congruent their corresponding sides are equal that is side apd triangle side ap is equal to side ap is equal to cq we have to prove that so therefore AP is equals to CQ. This is corresponding part of congruent triangle. Okay, I will consider this as equation one. Now, next you have to prove that triangle AQB, AQB, you take this triangle and CPD, you take this triangle. Now, in these two triangles also, if you see this angle. Okay, this angle means angle A B D, this angle and angle D C P, this angle, they are equal. So, if I take this as Y, this is also equal to Y. This side, mm, no, not this, this angle, okay, alternate angle, this angle is Y. And side it is already given that first we have we know that this ab and this cd equal then this angle y this angle y is equal and then this side bq and then side dp equal so again by side angle side criteria we can prove that triangle aqb and cpd congruent okay so i left that part to you i simply write triangle um triangle aqb and cpd aqb triangle aqb is congruent to triangle cqd this is again by side angle side criteria and therefore you can say that aq equal to cp aq this uh, side aq is equal to cp so therefore this aq is equals to c aq is equals to c aq is equals to cp this is cpd not cqd okay so this is triangle cpd this is our second part and this is again because of cpcd So let us keep here. Now we have already proved that this two sides. We have proved that this AP is equal to CQ and we have proved that this AQ is equal to this CP. Now finally by what I have to prove that APCQ is a parallelogram. So opposite sides are equal. So now for third case I will say that in quadrilateral AQ cp aq equal to cp and aq is equal to cp and ap equal to cq this is from 1 and 2 therefore these two sides equal these two sides equal therefore this quadrilateral AQCP is a parallelogram. So,
So we have proved that this APCQ is a parallelogram. As opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel. I can say that this APCQ is a parallelogram. Done. So all the five points we have proved. Okay. Now let us see this tenth problem. ABCD is a ABCD is a parallelogram and AP and CQ they are perpendicular from vertices A and C on the diagonal BD as it is given in the problem. We have to show that triangle ABB and triangle CQD they are congruent and hence I have to prove that this AP and CQ is equal. So ABCD is already a parallelogram. So as ABCD, ABCD is a parallelogram. What I observe that this angle ABD or ABP, this angle and angle CDB, this angle, they are going to be equal. Okay. Also, side AB is equal to side CD. We know that opposite sides of parallelogram. So, one angle we have proved this, one side we have proved this. We have to take third angle. Now, here this angle already is 90 degree. So, angle, angle side. Actually, one more criteria is there to prove two triangles congruent that is angle, angle side. Or else, as these two angles are equal to these two angles here, the third angle is going to be equal. Means this angle A and this angle C you have to prove because angle sum property you use and by that you will prove that this angle A and this angle C they are equal and then angle side angle criteria you can use. So I have told you that one criteria is that angle angle side criteria by that we can prove that triangles are congruent. So angle Q equal to angle P then angle D is equal to angle B and then side DC is equal to side BA. So by angle angle side these two triangles we can prove congruent. Again given and to find I left to you for right okay I will start the proof. So I will say that N triangle now I will take these two triangles in triangle APB in triangle APB and triangle CQD. Now in these two triangles APB and APB and CQD. Okay, first of all, your angle APB is equals to angle CQD. Each 90 degree is equals to 90 degree. Right? Here reason is each angle 90 degree. Okay. Second, each angle 90 degree. Second, we have angle ABP, angle ABP is equal to angle CDQ, is equal to angle CDQ. They are equal because they are alternate angles in parallelogram. So alternate angle theorem we can say, alternate angle theorem. And we have AB is equals to CD. AB is equals to CD, they are, they are vertically opposite sides. Um, AB is equals to CD, I will say given. So therefore, I have triangle APB, I have triangle APB is congruent to triangle APB is congruent to CQD by angle angle side criteria. Okay. So, one more criteria you have. So, what are the different criteria? We have side 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 criteria, we have 
angle side angle criteria we have angle angle side criteria we have side angle side criteria and we have rhs criteria so there are total five criteria which you can use to prove that two triangles are congruent so we have proved these two triangles are congruent now their corresponding side that is ap equal to cq by cpcd so therefore ep is equal to cq corresponding part of congruent triangle okay now let us move to this next question uh, too many informations are there in triangle abc and def you can say that abc and def in these two triangles ab is equals to de ab and de are equal ab is parallel to d okay these two sides are equal and they are parallel bc is equals to ef now this bc and this ef they are equal and bc is parallel to ef so this bc i will say that this bc is parallel to this ef this ab is parallel to this de they are also equal means this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side what tices abc are joined now this abc we have joined to the vertices def you can see in the diagram we have to show that quadrilateral abed is a parallelogram so first i have to show that abed is a parallelogram second we have to show that befc befc is a parallelogram okay so we have learned that in a quadrilateral if a one pair of opposite sides is parallel and equal then it is a parallelogram so you can see here it is already given in the problem that is ab and this de is parallel as well as they are equal in length therefore i will say that ab ed is a parallelogram and in the same way we can say that quadrilateral befc is also a parallelogram now as ab ed is a parallelogram uh, next i have to prove that ad is parallel to cf ad is parallel to cf and ad is equals to cf ad is equals to cf this i have to prove so for that what i will do mm, for that for that i have to prove that this ac fd is a parallelogram right hmm and we have to prove that quadrilateral acfd acfd is a parallelogram so once we prove that parallel and equal so it is easy to say that it is a parallelogram and ac is equals to df so once we prove then ac will become equal to df and uh, then triangle abc this triangle abc is congruent to def so this side equal to this side this side equal to this side and we will prove that this ac and df they are also equal so these two triangles will become congruent now here how i will prove that this ad and this cf are parallel so for that if you know that abc e, ab ed is a parallelogram so ad and be are parallel similarly cb ef is a parallelogram so this cf and be also parallel they are not only parallel but they are equal also so by that this ad and this cf we can see that they are parallel and they are equal okay so when i will prove that ab ed is a parallelogram that time only i will also write that ad and b they are parallel and equal so let us start again given and to prove you can write yourself so here i will start with proof or solution okay <clears throat> so first i have to prove that quadrilateral ab ed is a parallelogram so i will take this quadrilateral i will say that in quadrilateral ab ed in quadrilateral a b e d okay ab ed we have ab parallel to 
ए डी एंड ए बी ए रिफर्स टू ई डी ओके सो अपोजिट साइड आर पैरल एंड इक्वल सो देर फोर दिस क्वारिलेटरल ए बी ई डी इज अ पैरल If you want, you can write the statement that that if in a a quadrilateral one pair of opposite side is is parallel and equal, it is a parallelogram. So we have proved. So therefore, as this is a parallelogram, I discussed that now I will write that AD is equals to BE. So therefore, AD is equals to BE and AD is parallel to be i will consider this as equation 1 now as i proved that ab it is a parallelogram i will say that n quadrilateral in the same way you take the quadrilateral befc befc so let us take it here n B E F C in quadrilateral. I have in quadrilateral B E F C. We have B C is equals to E F given and B C is parallel to E F. Okay, this. you can say that is given therefore your quadrilateral befc is a parallelogram so these two parts we have proved now therefore as this is a parallelogram befc is a parallelogram so we can say that this side be will be equal to cf and your be will be parallel to cf okay this i will take the second question second equation so in the first equation we have proved that this side ad and this side be they are equal and second we have proved that this side be and this side cf are equal okay so these three sides are equal and in the same way i have proved that this ad is parallel to this be and here i proved that this be is parallel to cf okay so from 1 and 2 now we have to prove this third statement so i will say that from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 From one end to AD is equals to CF, and AD is equals to CF, and AD is parallel to CF. Okay, so we have proved this third part. Therefore, our quadrilateral, therefore quadrilateral ACFD. is a acfd is a parallelogram now as this is a parallelogram we have side ac therefore we have ac is equals to df ac is equals to df this i will consider third statement now we have to prove that triangle abc and def are congruent so i will take two triangles now in triangle abc and triangle abc and triangle def now in these two triangles ab equal to de it is given ab equal to de given 
BC equal to EF. BC is equal to EF. This is also given. And AC equal to DF. And AC equal to DF. We have just proved. So this is from 3. So therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. This is side 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 criteria. So by side 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 criteria, these two triangles are congruent. Okay, last part we have to prove that ABC and DF they are congruent. Right. So this is how we have proved. Now let us see last question of this exercise. ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD and AD is equal to BC. So we have already discussed this in concept that if one pair is parallel and other pair which is not parallel is equal, then it is isosceles trapezium. Uh, here we have to show that angle A is equal to angle B, angle C is equal to angle D. We have to show that triangle ABC, triangle ABC, so I will use, um, I, I will do a construction, I will draw a dotted line like this. Triangle ABC is congruent to BAD. So BAD for BAD, again I have to do construction like this. Okay, these two triangles are congruent. Then we have to prove that diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. Okay, and for that they have given a hint that extend AB and draw a line through C parallel to DA intersecting AB produced at E. This hint we will implement. Okay, so again you write whatever is given, what you have to prove and directly we jump to the proof. And you do this construction also, whatever hint is given, you will write that as a construction that draw AB, uh, extend AB and draw a line through C parallel to DA intersecting AB at point E. So this much construction we have done. Now, AB is produced till point E. So, our side AE and side DC as AB is parallel to DC. So, AE will be parallel to DC. I will say this is given and AD is parallel to CE. Okay. So, by that, these, this figure ADCE, it will become a parallelogram. Right. So, the condition for parallelogram is that opposite angles are equal. So, what we will do by that? We have to prove that this angle A and this angle B is equal. I am proving that this is a parallelogram. So, will it help me? Now, let us take quadrilateral ABCD in proof. I will take quadrilateral ADCE in quadrilateral ADCE. We have AE parallel to DC. It is given, I will say, and AD parallel to CE. This is from construction. In construction, we have drawn a line parallel to this AD from point C. So therefore, this ADCE will become parallelogram. Right? 
Now, in parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal. So, therefore, side AD is equal to side CE. This I will consider equation 1 and angle E that is I will say that angle BEC or AEC angle BEC is equals to angle ADC is equals to XC ok this I will take second equation now this is opposite side of parallelogram reason if you want to write opposite side of parallelogram and here if you want to write their opposite angles of the parallelogram so what we are able to say that this side ad and this side ce they are equal and this angle e and this angle d are going to be equal now as ad is equal to ce if i take triangle um, what i will say that ki ad is equal to bc also i will say that also ad is equal to bc okay there could be a better way to prove okay you try okay you may get some better way to prove it so also ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc now ad is equal to bc this is given i will say this equation 3 and already we have taken ad is equal to c so from that we can say that c e and b c are equal so therefore from 1 and 3 from 1 and 3 we will say that a c equal to e c so this triangle b c e will become an isosceles triangle ok let us move this diagram somewhere down so that it will be in front of us when we are writing so therefore triangle CEB triangle CEB is an isosceles triangle therefore angle CBE angle CBE is equals to angle BEC is equals to X so I got this angle also as X now angle DAB angle DAB plus angle BC is equals to 180 degree they are interior angle of a parallelogram ok we can say that interior angle reason interior angle of a of parallelogram you can name the parallelogram a d c e so sum of these two angles angle a plus this angle e that is angle therefore this angle d a b plus this is x is equals to 180 degree okay so therefore this angle DAB is equals to 180 degree minus X I will consider this as equation 3 1 2 I have taken somewhere yes 1 2 already we have taken 
so this equation 3 similarly this angle abc angle abc plus angle abc plus angle ebc plus angle abc their addition is also 180 degree this is because of linear pair angle linear pair okay so therefore this angle is x so again i have angle abc plus um, x is equals to 180 therefore angle abc is equals to 180 degree minus x therefore so this is equation number 4 now if you see equation 3 and equation 4 so from equation 3 and 4 equation 3 angle DAB is 180 minus x equation 4 angle ABC is 180 minus x so from equation 3 and 4 we have angle DAB is equals to angle ABC so DAB is equals to ABC DAB is equals to ABC so we have proved this first part DAB is equals to ABC okay so as we have proved let us put it in the box now second part I have to prove this angle D and this angle C is equal so uh, already the value of angle ADC is X okay now this angle EBC is X this is equals to angle BCD so angle let me write on this side okay so that the diagram is here I will draw a line and then I will say that angle EBC is equals to angle BCD is equals to X okay they are alternate angle alternate angle okay so therefore angle now this angle we got this angle also X. therefore angle ADC is equals to angle BCD is equals to X okay so this was our second condition which we need to prove that angle C and angle D are equal okay so this also we have proved next what we have to prove these two parts we have done ABC and BAD ABC so for ABC I will join here uh, better now again we move move or copy whatever you want you can do I will copy and I will remove all these things now what I have to take triangle ABC so for ABC then we will join this and ABD we join this we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent triangle now in triangle ABC already we have this side equal to this side we have this side common and if you see this angle B in triangle ABC and this angle A in triangle BAD they are equal okay so I will take triangle in triangle ABC and triangle BAD in these two triangles ABC and BAD right we have to take these two triangles ABC and BAD in triangle ABC and BAD we have AB equal to AB 
this is common side then we have ad is equals to bc uh, bc i will write bc first i have bc is equals to ad bc is equals to ad this is given and angle bd um, or angle abc i will say that angle abc is equals to angle bad we have proved therefore your triangle abc is congruent to triangle <coughs> bad we have side angle side criteria so by side angle side criteria we have proved that these two triangles are congruent and last we have to prove that diagonal AC and diagonal BD equal. So once we prove that these two triangles are equal, so therefore diagonal AC. So AC is equals to <coughs> BD. They are corresponding part of congruent triangle. Now, when we discussed concept, that time we discussed that key when in a trapezium opposite sides are one pair is parallel and other pair is equal, then in that case base angles are equal that we have proved here and diagonals are equal that also we have proved okay so a difficult question i recommend that you again solve this problem by yourself maybe you got some other way to solve this or your teachers might have teach you a different way so say to it that which you feel comfortable you can use or you can use your own way to prove it but it should be correct thank you for being with me in the next class we will see some concepts and the next exercise